Deshaun Brown sits in jail, awaiting trial for the murder of a mother and her young son. He made a choice and he decided that this little boy's life wasn't worth what he had done to the mom and go into prison for the rest of his life. And he chose to kill Nilo in an incredibly barbaric method. Investigators say they found Nilo's blood on a blanket that was with Nitisha's body. The toddler stroller was also found by the Ohio River. Dieter says they believe Brown threw the boy in alive. It's a gruesome case. I cannot even imagine um, what that little boy was going through. Prosecutors say Brown stabbed Nitisha Lattimore to death December 5th in her Walnut Hills apartment. They believe her body was left there for six days. And at some point, he purchased a body bag after that from eBay. Dieter says this is the bag. Out of respect for the family, we're not showing another photo, which Dieter says shows Brown carrying Nitisha's body in that bag wrapped in a blanket. Investigators say he took an Uber to the Purple People Bridge to dispose of the body, telling the driver the bundle was full of clothes. He knew he was going to kill her for two months. I mean, this was a, a very premeditated murder. Her body was found December 12th. Despite exhaustive search efforts, Nilo has not been recovered. And they're still looking for Nilo, but it's pretty clear that um, he died a miserable death. Now, investigators cannot say just what evidence link uh, Brown to Nilo's murder. They do say, though, those details will come out in court. Reporting live at Yatemans Cove, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5. Molly, I think the question so many people are asking, why do investigators uh, think this happened? Is there any motive? Well, Dieters did say there were some relationship issues between Brown and Itisha Lattimore, but he essentially said that Nilo was collateral damage. He was a link to Lattimore that Brown did not want to risk. Mike. All right, Molly Lair live for us. Uh, thanks so much, Molly.